going to carry on from where we left off at pedestrian crossings, but the, the scenario this time is that I've got a test in two weeks' time, yeah? Okay, yep. All right? Yeah? Yep. So it's pedestrian crossings and use of signals by indicator only. Yeah? Okay, yep. Yeah? Yep. Yep? Yep. Okay, so we're going to turn right out of the garage. Okay. So right out of the garage then, please. Yeah, Tony. Okay. And we're going to turn left. And left then, please, Tony. So we're going to signal this time? Oh, we do I need to signal? Yep. Why is it important that we signal? I'd let people know where we're going. Okay, then. Do I need to indicate coming out of the... Uh, it's good practice too, yes. Alright. Okay. So what distance are we looking to signal? Oh, about six car lengths, isn't it? Yep, okay. And how are you judging six car lengths? I just know it. Okay, so at the next junction, you're going to show me how you know six car lengths. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, no problem. <laughs> a bit cheeky now, isn't it? Huh? Get a bit cheeky <laughs> Well, I'd just like, like to see if your six car links are the same as everyone else's. What previous lessons have you had then, Tony? Sorry? What previous lessons have you had? Have you covered oh, everything one. now? Oh yeah, I've got my test in there. Two weeks time. Okay. Anything you feel you need a bit more practice on, a bit more guidance? No, no, I think, I'm, sure I think I'm really good. Okay. I think it's, you know, it's money for our rob, our rob for you today. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we like? Yeah. Well, that was one of them crossings, wasn't it? What was one of those crossings? That one. Yep, so what kind of crossing is it? No, I don't know, I didn't see it. Tom. You couldn't see it? I didn't see it, it was too late. Really? It was a light control crossing anyway, I don't know. Okay. And what else do we look for then in order to recognise crossings? Um, oh, zigzag lines, isn't it? Yep, okay. So, zigzag lines, anything else? So you said it was a light controlled, so it's yeah. got zigzag, so what does that tell us? What kind of crossing is it? Pedestrian crossing. Yep. What can we do? What can't we do on the zigzags? Can't be down. What can we do? Um, oh, I can't park, can I? Okay. Now we're going to turn left. And we're going to turn left. Six car lengths. So, what kind of crossing is this one? Oh yeah, zebra. So, how do we deal with zebras? Uh, I'll check the mirror and scan them. Yep. Have a good look either side. Okay. What are we looking for? Uh, pedestrians. Just pedestrians. Dogs. Yeah. Dogs use cross. Oh, yeah. I suppose guide dogs do. Oh, yeah. So we can do that? Yeah. Okay. So going back to the zigzag lines then, so you said no stopping. What else can't we do on that? Uh, no overtaking. Okay, yep. And what's the consequences of if we stop on the zigzag lines? Why can't we stop on them? Uh, if somebody has to overtake me, the pedestrian wouldn't be able to see them and they wouldn't be able to see the pedestrian. Okay, yep. So we don't stop on them because obviously it blocks the view of the crossing, yeah. doesn't it? Okay. And why don't we overtake on them? Um, now again, if I'm overtaking somebody, I won't be able to see what's, who's standing on the... anybody standing waiting to cross and they wouldn't see me. That's it. Okay. So what can we overtake though on the zigzag lines? Oh, bikes. I can overtake a bicycle. Yeah, as long as it's not what? Oh, stop at the crossing. Yeah, that's it. That's a crossing, isn't it? Yep, so what kind of crossing is this? Oh, school, isn't it? So, our oh, school's in it this time? Uh, could be Sunday school. Could be, yep. You can never tell us, guys, can you? No, you can never tell, but we can always try and use it to our slight advantage. So, we know what time school starts, we know what roughly time school finishes, don't we? What time does roughly school start? Uh, half eight, nine o'clock. Yeah, okay then. So we know it's going to be slightly more busier then. And what time does it finish? Well, I used to finish about three, hour three, I don't know. 
Okay, yeah. yeah. So if we think about those times as well, then we know that we're actually going to be busy at those times. Okay. Oh, so, so I suppose those lights to be flashing. That's it as well. So what do the lights mean then? No, it's warning me there's a school in the area, isn't it? So, yep, yeah, school crossing patrol, maybe? Better that? Oh yeah, a lollipop person, yeah. That's it. And my instructor said I mustn't call him a, a lollipop man or a lollipop woman. No, not anymore. Apparently yeah. diversity. Yeah. Okay, so what kind of cross is this? Oh, uh, it's a light control crossing. Okay, how do you know if the lights are about to change? Uh, Using your knowledge. Well, it's not standard now, is it? No? Okay. What about if somebody's press the button as they're walking around? Like we did used to do it as a child. Press the button and then run off. Oh yeah, was that, yeah, was that a pelican cross? Yeah. How did you know that? Uh, I'm just guessing that you now I did spot it a bit later on the Okay. So what are we looking for when it comes to crossing? Then? Oh, them zigzag lines, isn't it? Zigzag lines? Yeah. Then what else are we looking for? Um, either the uh, clash of beacons, for the zebras. Yep. Or the traffic, uh, the lights, isn't it? Yep. Okay. And then how can we tell what kind of crossing it is? So what kind of different crossings are there? Oh, different boxes, isn't it? Different boxes, yeah. yep. So what different boxes? Now we can turn left. And left at the end of the road. What's your six car? Um, so name me the different crossings to begin with. Let's make it easy. Oh, there's, there's one of them old style boxes there. That's yep. the... Um, that's the pelican, isn't it? Okay, so how do they work? Oh, that wait sign comes on when they press that button. Yep. So we can have a look at that when we're a driver, can't we? Yeah. Because if it's on, we know what's going to happen. Oh, the, and, and the other one is the um, pedestrian user-friendly one. I think it's Puffin or something, isn't it? Yep. That's got the new style boxes, isn't it? Yep. How, how are they new? What's the difference between them? Uh, they're, they're not as old as the, uh, the new <laughs> one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Slightly more than that. Oh, uh, How are they newer? What's the difference? Oh, they've got a different light system on them. That they, um, when you press the button, a little red light comes on. That's it. Okay. So can that be helpful to us as a driver when that red light's on? Yeah, it means it, it means the lights are going to change. Yep. So what do we need to be prepared to do then? Oh, stop. Yeah. Is this a crossing coming up? No. You sure? That's a roundabout. Okay, what, what was before the roundabout then? What's that island? Oh, right. Is that island a former crossing? Oh no, it's one of those uh, places where pedestrians cross halfway, isn't it? Yep, okay. So again, we still class it as a kind of crossing there, don't we? Because it's a crossing place for pedestrians, yeah. isn't it? Is this a crossing coming up? Oh, it's got boxes. Yep, so. But what hasn't it got? It hasn't got zigzag lines, is it? So, what does that mean? Oh, yeah, it's uh, built into traffic lights, isn't it? Yep, that's it. How did you know to stop the line? Sorry? I used that reference point that I used on my uh, merger. And where's that? No, I can't just ran that door. Really. Just ran the corner? No, I ran the door. Really. Just ran the door, that's it. So what's the dangers of if we stop after the, the line? Oh, I'll get three points on my license. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Um, oh yeah, I'd, um, I could have a partially sighted person slip um, to a in front of the car. That's it. Okay, so what are the dangers the other way? What about if we stop too far back from the line? Well, um, that person behind me might overtake me because I might think I'm parking. That's it. That'd be a danger, wouldn't it? Yeah. Would it be a danger, do you think? What would happen? What could happen? Well, they might not see the pedestrian who, uh, who I've stopped for. Yep. Yeah. That's one of them. So what kind of cross is this? Turning 
into oh, the ramp towards the crossings. Oh, that was no problem there, was it? Because uh, I can see there was nobody standing for miles around there. Okay. But we don't want to take that as a given, do we? No. Better to be more cautious than it is to be. And we're going to take the next turning to the left. And the next turning on the left, at least. So what's the sequence we use then when we're coming up to these crossings? Sorry? What's the sequence that you use then when you're Oh, check the to? mirror. Yep, okay. And uh, check either side. And what are you checking the mirror for? Um, distance and speed. Distance and speed? Yeah. Of what? Sorry? Distance and speed of what? Of the vehicles behind me. Yep, okay. Do we need to signal there? I always do, yeah. You always do? Yeah. Who's going to benefit from it then? There isn't anyone around there. Oh, right. So only, okay. sig only signal there's people around there. Well, obviously, there's three things we, you've got to be considering when it comes to signals. One, is it necessary to signal? So, is anybody going to ben benefit from it? Second one, is it is it going to be misleading? Right. What could other road users think you were doing there? Yeah, I'll be taking the park car. Okay, or? Not too sure. Pulling off on the left, maybe? I was indicating right. Well, okay then. Pulling off on the right then. No. Uh, yeah? Oh, you mean turning into a place on the right? Yeah. So, could be that? No. Uh, I've got to watch a pedestrian anywhere, haven't I? Yeah. Especially children on their own. Well, I've got to go indicate to come back in, haven't I? No. Because what? What would people think we were doing there? Uh, pulling back in. No, because there was a turn in there. Oh yeah, the might as well have turning in there. Yeah, exactly. So then what's the danger? It's leading, isn't it? Yeah. So what's the danger then? Uh, they might try and overtake them. Okay, yeah. And, uh, I'm not pulling in, so I'd probably end up colliding with them, wouldn't I? Yeah. Okay, so that's what we've got to be thinking about when it comes to signals. Alright. Oh, we've got to be thinking about if it's relevant. So is it gonna is anybody gonna benefit from our signal? And we're gonna turn left. And we're gonna turn left then. Then we've got to be thinking about is it gonna be misleading? If you don't want to mislead anyone. That's a crossing. Yep. Anybody right now? No. We'll have to always have to stop, yeah? Uh, no. When will we stop? Oh if they step off the crossing, yeah. That's it. So if they're already in the road, we'd have to stop. Yeah. If they're at the crossing. So it's not a crossing really, it's a place where they can cross, is that it? Yeah. Basically, but we still got to consider it as a no, crossing because the point's there. And we're going to send it. No, actually, can't right now. Huh? No, it goes straight on. Okay, straight, straight on. on. Slow down. Why? Because you're going too fast. What are you anticipating going to step out between these cars? Oh, um, doors open, you've got pedestrians. Okay. Oh, you did 20. So, are you happy then if a child steps out? We've already seen children around the estate. If a child steps out, you'll be able to stop in time. Can I stop at this speed, can I? Huh? I can stop at this speed, can I? At this speed, you can now. But we're good at the speed we're doing a minute. Anyway. Oh yeah. So what are we looking for? Uh, I see nobody's pressed the button. 
Ya. Traffic left zone. Yeah. Now we're going to turn left. Going to turn left. Then. Oh, zebra. How do you know that? Oh, I can spot it by the zigzag lines and, other, and pair it with the uh, Malaysian beacons, yeah? Yep, that's it. pedestrians across? Oh, never, never, never. never. Because? Uh, because uh, they might get run out by a vehicle coming yeah. the opposite way, yeah? That's it. It's a real big no-no, isn't it? It's a real big no-no. Turn left, please. We're going to turn left, please, Tony. Yeah, it is pedestrians and pedestrian crossings, yeah? Okay. I would have asked me a question about that young yeah, girl no. in pink on the left there running, yeah? Yeah. And the fact she's running and the, the age of where she might well I just dive down her shoulder and dived out, yeah? No need to tell me what to do, but just ask me how I'm going to react to it, yeah? Okay. Now we're going to turn right. We're going to turn right. So I always signal six car lengths away. Apart from? When wouldn't we? So thinking about if a signal is unnecessary or... No, I'm talking about when I'm turning. I've always got a signal when I'm turning, haven't I? Yeah, we've always got a signal when we're turning. But we wouldn't signal six car lengths before if there was a road. Oh just yeah, before, if, if there was a road just before, yeah. Because what would that... What could that mean to other road users? Or uh, could they, they might, interpret it as? They might think I'm turning in there for whatever, I mean. Yeah. So it's not always, it's not a strict rule that we indicate six car lengths before. Oh, right. Because obviously we've got to think about how the road layout is is laid out. But if we can, we will signal six car lengths before. Okay. So always be aware of 
road junctions coming up. So I'm sitting on six car lengths away, really and truly, because you told me to, yeah? Well, it's good practice too, and obviously it means it gives people, other drivers around us and other people around us, time to react to what we're oh, doing. Oh, right, right. So it's not just because you say so. No, 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 it's to help uh, other people, yeah. isn't it? Right. So it's to give people time to react, yeah? Yeah, well, we need to tell people what we're doing, don't we? Yeah. And then we need to let them react to what, what we're doing. Oh, right. I mean, like we do when we see people signal. Yeah. Because what do we know what's going to happen next? Not once people signal. Yeah. Well, we think we're going to slow down or we can turn yeah. or stop or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. And we're going to turn into the test centre car park. And we're just going to turn into the test centre car park. Here. Actually, we'll take the second test yeah. centre car park. say to me before I uh... have you got any questions about no I think um... Ooh, I learned a lot there and I did learn a lot there to be honest with you yeah yeah didn't I yeah yeah well, I think you did yeah I did yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, hope lot, I hope you did I have a lot more than what I was learning this morning wasn't I yeah yeah you're getting the hang of it now yeah yeah so we've now covered it at two phases yeah on the phase one, you got to get in there and give me the uh, the education, yeah. On the phase two, you got to check what I know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because if you don't, the bit you don't ask me, I'll play around with, yeah. And I and I take it as well, because what I kind of like did there was because I knew what we what we'd covered in stage one. Is that also the information I've got to get the same information for the phase two? So, well, if you think about it, one follows the other, doesn't it? Um, what you're teaching on phase one, you're teaching me a new subject. And obviously then, as I get near my test, I should be able to do all those bits, yeah? So, on the phase two, it's the same thing. It's, it's, it's just that I should know them. But you've it's got, just I've got to get the information yeah, from you rather you, than you give make, it to you. Yeah, you've got to make sure that I know them, yeah? And obviously, if, if you see, does it... Um, because you know nobody's nobody's ever going to remember everything, are they? Especially um, you know learning to drive. Um, so if I make an error or you find a gap in my knowledge, then you you've got to work on that gap, sort it out, and then give it back to me. So when I go in for my test in two weeks' time, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and in those two phases there you were working all the time and that's that's what it's all about yeah <laughs> uh, if you're sitting back there having a having a snooze uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, gonna... yeah, it, yeah it's just all going to be happening around you and uh, when i've sat in the back and seen it happen and uh, it's not a pretty sight believe me yeah <laughs> um you know so get in there and do the work yeah um and remember it's two subjects yes if it, if yeah, you get in there and he's playing around with the signals and you deal with it and don't forget to come up with that reason why, yeah? You know, again, I was indicating around the park cars, it's not good practice, yeah? That's what you said, yeah? <laughs> yeah? That's about as good as a... <laughs> Chocolate fire guard. Yeah. <laughs> Stop using Blaine saying he's it, 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 sewers, yeah? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, it, it, you know, you need to... Uh, You know, have get, get to the wrong. point of yeah. Yeah. What's the what's the consequence? Yeah. We do? And um, yeah, no, no, I thought it was very good. That was very good. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you know the signals quite quite early on. I mean, what was I doing with the signals originally? Just not using them to begin with. Yeah, and then um, I was signalling late, wasn't I? Yeah. And you asked me when I should signal, and I said to you six car lengths. Yeah, I'm not lying to you. Um, I know in my own mind I should signal six car lengths. Um, it's just my interpretation of six <laughs> car lengths, isn't it? Which, you know, a student would, a genuine student might, may well have problems with. I could go completely the other way. I could be indicating 15 car lengths away, yeah? Thinking of six car lengths, yeah? Um, 
So it's up to you then to give me guidance on that. I've made an error there. Um, tell me you want the signal. This is six car lengths, yeah? Yep. Yeah? Um, help me with it. Okay, yeah. And then hand it back to you. Yeah, before you hand it back to me, just get in and just Pump just it. check my knowledge. And check that I'm aware of the fact that it's not a blanket rule. There is, you know, there is grey areas where... I'm not always going to be uh, late to signal six car lengths away, yeah? That's the kind of information that's going to get your score up, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, completely, yeah. Yeah? Um, it's better you cover that on the road than having to cover it on a question before he switches off the engine at the end, yeah? Because it's covered in situ then, yeah? You know, we, uh, we just had two good subjects there, and I think the boat went very well, yeah? I mean, when we, when we went out this morning, which we didn't tape, um, At the end, but I didn't learn much of it. No, no, no. Yeah? Well, I don't even think learning took place, really. No, no, no. no. no we, we had a nice drive around. Yeah, we had a nice drive around. <laughs> well, good thing. I'm 100% very well done. <laughs>